All right, now the next note effect I wanna look at is one called Dribble, which is pretty cool. I mean, all of these are really cool and uh, quite interesting to have available in a DAW like this. So I've added a cowbell sound because everyone needs more cowbell. I've got my cowbell in the drum machine here and uh, I haven't added a note or anything yet because before I actually play something or put something in the clip, uh, I want to explore what Dribble can add to my performance. So let me play a note on my keyboard. All right, there's my trusty cowbell. I've tweaked a few settings here. Uh, I've disabled the randomize note effect. This is still here and this will come into play in a bit, but before we use that, all right. So I play a note and it's just the cowbell. So let's turn on dribble and see what's different. So as you might have guessed, uh, now if I hold the note down, instead of it just being played once, it'll actually play and we'll see some physics at play here as the note dribbles and bounces until gravity makes it stop. So let's go ahead and hold the note down and uh, hear what happens. Now you see this is just bouncing indefinitely because I've turned the damping all the way down. And with that, gravity will never take over. It'll just bounce indefinitely. So let's go ahead and double click this. I'm gonna set the damping to its default value and now, all right, we get something like that. As we increase the damping, the bouncing will die more quickly. Basically think of this as the higher the damping, uh, the heavier the impact of gravity. Less damping, and it's more like we're on the moon. And we can play around with the timing of the dribble here, either using a note value, which we can then skew by either minus or plus 33%, or we can deactivate this and just use milliseconds. And as always with Bitwig, the great thing about this is that all these things can be modulated. So what I wanna do is this. Uh, I wanna create a scenario where I can add a single note for this cowbell uh, and then have Dribble make it do something a bit different. And then after all that, maybe I can enable my randomized note effect here uh, and have some of the things that are being randomized impact Dribble and the cowbell. Let's see where it goes, all right? First off, I just need to place a note for my cowbell uh, inside of this clip. And I'm gonna do this with Dribble deactivated just so we hear the single note on its own. Keep in mind, in order for Dribble to do what it does, the note has to be held long enough in order for Dribble to keep dribbling the note. So uh, when I enter this note, I'm not gonna enter it for just like a 16th note, I'll make it long enough. Uh, so I have time to do what I want. So the cowbell's here, let's just put it at the beginning and we'll just extend it like this. All right, let's turn on dribble. That's kind of a cool rhythm. Okay, that's actually kind of interesting. I like that. And what's cool is we can play with the damping. And maybe that's what we'll do. Before I turn on randomize, I'm gonna use my expressions modulator here to modulate the damping amount. And we'll use pressure here to modulate the time. All right. Let's hear what happens when we turn on randomize now. See, what I really like about this, and I'm sure the whole point of, you know, the wonderful people at Bitwig implementing all this stuff, uh, it just allows you to create more spontaneous, slightly random patterns and melodies and whatnot with just so much more variety, but just pleasant surprises as well for you as the composer. You know, I could sit here and listen to this, uh, and just these couple of note effects alone have given me something that's going to create a pattern that's going to have pretty much endless variety, and there's only, what, 
four sounds that are playing. So we're just getting started, but uh, as you can see, using these devices not only on their own, but combining them in creative ways uh, opens up a ton of potential.